with Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to put some letters and numbers on the boat. Maybe a stripe or two. So, stick around and let's get these put on. Okay guys, so I got these vinyl letters I ordered online. There's 162. Yeah, they're three inches tall. There's 162 of them in here. 160 total pieces. So I'll have plenty. There'll be a couple letters, some numbers, and a couple more letters. I'm gonna space them somewhat apart. And I think they'll be all right. I'm just going to follow this line down through here. That's crooked, but Monkey wouldn't let me take it off and straighten it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and time lapse you on this so you don't get too bored. And uh, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the stripe. Okay, so there's the numbers. Oh, I gotta fix that U. That's okay. So, they look a lot better than the block numbers. Now I'm gonna do the other side, and we'll start on the stripe. Okay, let's get this ready. I'm gonna mask it all with uh, blue painter's tape. Let's put a stripe on it. Alright, got the other side masked off, first coat on it, second coat on this side. Alright, let's peel the stripes off of this side. Peel the masking tape off of this side. Hopefully the stripes stay on.
All right, some of the blue came off. I'm going to touch that up. And uh, then we'll check it out. All right, guys. So here we go. Turned out pretty good. Ain't perfect, but that's all right. I think it looks all right for just an old, an old fishing boat. Get a whole thing of it here. So, <coughs> excuse me. Last night we painted the bunks. Uh, since it's gonna have blue carpet, we want to break this up a little bit. This part's still gonna be white. This part's gonna have carpet on it. So. I think, I think that black right up in there might go white. I think that's what I'll do with that. But then there'll be too much blue inside. So what we're gonna do with the seats, we're gonna go with white seats with uh, dark blue piping around it. I think that'll, that'll look pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit of touch up here and there and I think it'll be all right. Tomorrow, I'll clear coat this whole, the whole sides. Just everything you can see here. Because the bottom's already clear coated up to the blue. And then I'll just clear all this. Um, inside of here, I'm just going to get, uh, well, it just depends if I got enough clear. I'll use it if not. I'll just get some spray cans of clear for the inside But that's going to be white too. And like I said, I think I'll take this white You know from here because it's going to be blue from here up It's going to be white and Then this is going to be blue carpet Inside here and here. I'm not going to carpet this back here. I'll probably paint it but I got a gas tank that sits back here. I got batteries that sit in there, so I don't want any carpet back there. So, yeah, uh, it's getting there. Maybe about another week, it just all depends. Like I said, 30 foot boat, you get 30 feet back. Well, we're about 20 feet back. <laughs> and it looks good. <laughs> It'll look good on the water with the blue with the blue top the bimini top uh matches pretty good with it the bimini top's a little bit lighter it's kind of between this and that blue there it's more like a royal blue to where this is a sapphire so i think i'll go with a royal blue on the inside so uh we'll have two different shades of blue i got some blue paint down there somehow so i gotta touch that up but I'll make sure it's all touched up and everything before I clear coat it and then once I clear coat it I think it's going to be all right uh, we're going to take it out before we put the carpet in so that way you know it's all going to be cleaned out of course but that way if we got any leaks I know where I can seal it and I can either go down underneath and seal it or seal it up here it's no big deal <coughs> like I said it wasn't really leaking leaking there was a couple loose rivets that was seeping some water in but I think it'll be all right now if we get a little bit in it it's okay it's no big deal so there it is guys Whew. it's a hot one today I have no idea what the temperature is I can check uh, Looking for my glasses, they're hanging on my face. The temperature is, wow, 91 degrees. Focus. I can't get it to focus. Anyway, that does say 91 degrees. There you go. All right, so we've had quite a few 91 degrees days. So there we go. 
I sent Monkey a couple pictures of it. <coughs> Always looks better in pictures. <laughs> Anything does. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. Thanks for joining me. And uh, once this painting's all done, we can start putting the... Uh, we'll put the bimini top back on and the switches back in. And I got some more lights. We got to put... In the back, we got to put a stern light up, the white one. Uh, I got to drill a hole for it, make a hole for it. Uh, I got to put a couple nav lights up here, the red and green lights. And I got some more blue lights to put in there too, which I got to put these ones back on because, you know, we had to take them off to paint in order for it to look okay. Like I said, it, it's, it's not going to be a showboat, but it should be a nice boat enjoyable to get out on the water because we had comments on it before and believe it all the paint peeling off of it and everything people's like well that's a good looking old boat there <laughs> so and i'm i'm like thanks the vessel don't look bad either <laughs> shea bear the myth man legend gone for now guys thanks again for watching appreciate it stay tuned for more videos on the boat and once the boat's done we'll get it out on the water stay tuned for that and uh got some more videos coming for you so anyway guys weekend's almost here so have a safe one we'll see you soon bye bye and take care